Okay. Good afternoon. This is Renetta again. On June the 18th of 2015, I designed the first solar panel tree. Solar panel tree. Uh, for a part of the solar panel farm system. The solar panel tree is lined with solar panels in the design of a tree. The leaves and solar fruit, solar leaves, solar fruit on the tree, as well as the branches, all have capability of absorbing sun. On the inside of the tree is the inverter system that converts the solar energy into electricity. At the bottom, the electricity is distributed, distributed to the substation. I also designed a more smaller system called a solar shrub. And the sh solar shrub works in conjunction or the same way as the solar tree. Okay. Uh, the, solar the solar tree is one of, it's part of the network system of a solar farm. This is what the solar farm plus solar shrubs looks like. I'm so sorry about the shakiness of the video. Okay, now the beauty of this system is that it does not work the same way we get energy at present. Uh, the beauty of this system is that the solar farm, you never know from which tree you're getting energy. So this grid works in phases. And every time you turn on your light, you never know which tree you're getting. Sorry, you're moving around. You're getting your energy. And I put it, I put into place this additional safety feature because of uh, electromagnetic pulses. And the beauty of this system is that we can divide the solar farm into four regions or three regions or five regions or ten regions. And every time you switch on your light or you, you, you get electricity, it can come from any number of ways. So hypothetically, if there's a solar, uh, an EMP, sorry, an EMP attack, the entire grid does not get destroyed, only the portion that's up. Now the system works bilaterally in that the system that is up is opened and then the system that is down is closed. The closed system has a secure gateway that does not allow a person, uh, sorry, does not allow the flow of energy or electricity. So in the advent of an EMP strike, because the system is closed, the system becomes protected. So this is the basic concept of the solar farm. Oh, it was invented on June 19th. And this idea I, I thought would be interesting for, uh, for Africa. Again, the whole concept of a, of a farm, Africa, India, um, Central and South America, Asia, uh, Europe if they want. And I was thinking more like deserts, wildernesses and rural areas would be a great place for a solar solar tree. I think it's much safer than um, a windmill and um, the impact would be less on the environment. Thank you.